Welcome in the 19th episode. Today we will implement the best score bar. If you want to help support this channel, hit the subscribe button below this video, turn on notification so you will not miss any future episode I release. Okay, so let's get started. So first of all, I have added additional two texture to the to the art package. So if you want to have those textures, so this is for the for the loading bar, the back and the front texture. You will have to download this this asset again from my website. So here it is. If you go to the codeplanstudio.com slash downloads, you can get this block adventure get game asset for free. And uh, you should have this uh, two score bar back and front. But you can use any other texture. It doesn't really matter. You can use your own texture. Uh, this texture is needed only for the loading bar. Okay, so let's first of all go to our scenes and then open the game scene. So now if you go to the canvas, we have the score window. So let's add one more component to the score window. So I will just right click UI image and I will call this object to be box. Let's apply some graphics to it. So I will go to the squares, grab this yellow square and drop it into the source image. Let's change the size. So I will set the width to be 294 and then height 138. Grab this box and, and move it above the text. So we have the text displayed inside the box. And now let's grab our score window and let's reposition it. So let's set the X position to be zero and then Y position to, to be somewhere here. And then we have our text displayed inside the box and I will change this text color to be white. So let's select the scroll text. Let's go to the colors and I will change it to white. Okay. If you have any other font, you can, you can grab any other font. I will probably increase the size as well. So let's set the size to be 100. And as you see, the text disappeared because we need to increase the width as well. So the width will be 300 and height will be 150. So we have our text display properly. So now let's add the loading bar. So we're going to display the loading bar on the right side. So let's right click on the canvas, create empty. And I will call it best score bar. And then let's right click on this best score, best score bar UI image. And this will be our background. And then let's right click on the best score bar again UI image. And this is going to be our front texture. Front. And then let's right click on the best score bar UI and then text. And this will be our best, best score, best score text. Okay. So first of all, let's select the background and now let's go to the score bar and grab our back texture and drop it into the source image. So once you do that, you can set native size. And as you see, the, the size of the texture will be applied. So now let's do the same for the front. So select front, grab our front texture and drop it into the source image. And then hit set native size. And now we need to change this image type. So let's select this image type and then select field. The fill method, let's select uh, horizontal. And now because we're starting from the left. If you change this fill amount, you will see that our, our bar is updating. Okay. So this is what we will use for our score bar. So now let's, uh, let's quickly work with this texture. So as you see, the width and the height is, um, is set static for the front texture. So let's do the same for our best score texture. So we're going to grab our width select the best score text and then apply the same width. And we want to get the same height, which is 102. 
and put the same height. Okay. So now for this best score, let's put the any number. I will put 100. I will just change the font style to be bold. Font color to be white. And also I will change this alignment to be in the middle and in the middle. So as you see, we can make this text a bit bigger. So let's set the text size to be 50. Okay, so now if we select this front texture, as you see when you changing, the text is staying in the middle. So that's fine. Okay, let's select our score bar. And now let's add actually uh, the text representation, what is what is uh, what this bar is represents. So right click on the score bar, UI text. And I will call it title. And I will put in the text area best score. Best score capital letters. Let's make it bold. And white. And then I will set it to be in the middle. And let's change the Y position to be above. And of course we need to change the width and the height. So for the width I will set 450 and for the height let's say 150. And let's change the font size to be 80. Maybe it's too big so 60, 50 I think. I think 40 will be fine. Okay let's actually position it a bit lower. Okay, so we have our best score bar. Let's select the best score bar. And now I will change the scale to be 0 0.3 or maybe 0 0.5, 0 0.5. So it's much smaller. And let's move the score bar to be in the corner. Somewhere here. So we will see that uh, the text will be updated once we are adding the scores. And now the last thing to do is let's select this front and let's set this fill amount to be zero. And then let's select this best score text and set the text to zero. Okay, so this is what we're going to start with. So now we can go to the file and then save. And now we will have to add one script. So let's go to our scripts folder let's go to the game right click create c sharp script and i will call this script best score bar okay let's open the script so this is going to be a very simple script so first of all right at the top let's add using statement so using unity engine.ui And now let's add, let's actually remove this, uh, this comments and remove the update method. And now right, right at the top, let's put public image. And this is going to be the fill in image. And then public text. And I will call it best score text. And uh, let's actually remove the start method. And I will use the shortcut Ctrl Shift M. And let's add the on enable. And then on disable. So those two methods. You can type it yourself if you don't like to use this shortcut. And this method will assign ourselves to the event. But we don't have the event, the best score event yet. So let's quickly create it. So I will go to the game events class and right at the bottom I will add public static action and this action will accept two parameters. First one will be integer and the second one will be integer. Okay, so make sure you put these two integers in the braces. 
and let's call this action to be update best score bar. Update best score bar. Okay. So now we can use this event. So I will just copy the name. I will go back to our best score bar. And inside this on enable method, let's call the game events dot update best score bar plus equal. And I will just create this function update best score bar. Let's actually duplicate this line of code, move, move this line of code to the on disable and make sure you unsubscribe from this event. So let's put the minus instead of plus. And now we have to create this function. So right at the bottom, I will put private void. Let's copy this name. And make sure you put two parameters. So integer and this first one will be current score and then int best score. Okay, so now let's calculate the percentage. So float current percentage will be equal to and now let's cast it to float current score divide by float best score. Okay, and now we can call the fill in Im image dot fill amount will be equal to current percentage and then best score text dot text will be equal to best score dot to string. Okay, so that's it. So this is uh, that's that's it for this class. So we simply just calculating the percentage how much the fill amount will be and then setting the, the best score, the text for the best score. So let's save everything. And now in order to actually trigger this event, we need to trigger this event from somewhere. So we're going to do that from our score class. So let's quickly switch to the scores class. And then inside our add scores, so the class we have implemented in the in the last episode, before we update the score text inside the add scores function, let's quickly call the game events dot update best score. And we want to pass our current scores and our best scores. Best scores dot scores. Okay, because the best scores is a class and we need to pass the member score. So make sure you call this event from here. And now if you save everything and then go back to Unity, let's press play. And now let's try to get some points. And as you see, we have some errors. So the null reference exceptions. And this is because in our script, we just try to call the event, but there is no one who actually subscribing to this event because we forgot to do one thing. So quickly, let's quickly go back to Unity. And now let's select our best scores bar. And we need to attach the best score bar script to this object. So grab the script, best scores bar, drop it here. And now we need to add the fill in image. So grab the front image and then drop it here. And then best score text is our best score text. So grab it and drop it here. So now when we initialize all fields, let's actually press play. Okay. And let's try to get some points. And as you see, we have, okay. And uh, we have very interesting situation because we have 10 points 
our best score shows 50, so this score is read from the file, from the binary file we implemented in the last episode, and the fill amount is correct, but uh, the problem is when you write at the beginning of the game, you can't see the best score. So let's quickly fix that. So let's go back to our score class. And we need to just simply grab our game event update best scores. So let's copy this line of code. Let's scroll up. And let's add this line of code at the end of this read file data. So once we read the binary file with all of the data, instead of outputting this debug log message, so let's delete it, we're gonna call the event to update our best score bar. Okay, so make sure you call this line of code from here as well. And from add scores. So let's save everything again. Go back to Unity press play and as you see at the beginning we have read the scores from the from our data file and the the correct amount is displayed so we know we have our best score is 50 and now let's try to get actually 50 scores so we have 10 50 let's try to get one more Every single time we add more scores is going to be our new best score. So now our new best score is 60 and everything is updated correctly. So let's try to get one more. So 70. So now when you stop the game and start your game again, our best score is still 50. And this is because if we go back to our scores file, and see where we actually saving our scores. So save burst score is called only on the game over. Okay, so this is not the correct behavior. We want to save it at the game over, but we also want to save our best scores if our current scores is greater than the best scores. So we're going to grab our save best scores function and we're going to call it from add scores inside the save statement. So whenever our current scores is greater than the best score, we want to save the new best scores and we want to pass true. Okay, so make sure you call this function. Let's save everything. And now let's go back to Unity and let's test our game again. So press play. Let's try to get 50. So we have a 50 now. Let's try to get a 60. So now our new best score is 60. So now when we stop the game, we play again. As you see, our new best score is 60. So everything works fine. So now when we go back to the menu, we have our new best score 60, which is the the best score we have reached in the last game. So that's it for this episode. If you had any issue with implementing this logic, please leave me a comment below this video. In the next episode, we're gonna start to look up at implementing the bonuses. So inside, the bon inside this game, we will have, as you, as you probably already seen, we have some graphics for this, the writings for the bonuses. So we have an awesome, cool, excellent, so this is the writing we're going to display it. and also we're going to make use of all of these colors from the squares. So for the certain scores we reached, we're going to replace the color of the squares inside the game. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching and I will see you again in the next episode.